Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to the Mind of Cracker server. I hope you guys had a wonderful, merry, happy holiday Christmas thing. Because I did. I had a great Christmas. It was awesome. And let's repair that. That was, a, that was the last... Oh, by the way, that was the last two of my sand. I am completely out of sand and glass now. So I think what I'm going to do is on this to-do list, we need to add... Well, first we're going to need some signs here. Those aren't signs. Those are signs. Uh, restock sand and glass. Uh, actually, locate desert. You know, as I, when I was a kid, I always remembered how to spell desert and dessert. Uh, if, if you're hungry... You're more hungry, you want some dessert, you want something to eat, so you want to eat more, so you, you have two S's. There's there's two S's in dessert and only one S in desert. Uh, or maybe you're hiking through the desert and you want to carry less stuff with you, so you, you, don't, you, you leave off one of the S's, so your load is lighter, because it's so hot. That's, that's how I remember it as a kid, to, uh, to spell dessert and desert, and not get them confused. I actually had a, uh, my mom did that. She taught me little things uh, to help me spell better. Anyway, uh, what are we going to do to, de actually, oh, 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 and before I forget, my favorite one ever is this one, lieutenants. Uh, lieutenants. The way you remember to spell lieutenants is there are ten ants, and you are you're commanding these ten ants to lie. The, these ten ants that you have, that they're going to have to tell a lie. So, lie, you, ten ants. You're telling ten ants to lie. Lie, you, ten ants. That is, that's how you, that's how I remember to spell lieutenants. Because it's kind of a, a slightly awkward, like, look at that, <laughs> ten ants. But that's how I remember it. And that's stuck with me since I was, like, I don't know, when was that? Like, I was eight years old or something? Seven or eight? Uh, but that's stuck with me. You know, I, 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 in elementary school, I actually won a spelling bee because, because of those little tricks. Um, anyway, all right, so what are we going to do today? I, I logged in and I don't really have a plan. I was actually talking to, uh, Proxy earlier and Proxy was like, you should do a Minecraft video. And I was, I was saying like, oh, I was going to, today I was going to record some, uh, Mountain Blade Warband because I want to move that series along, and I, I want to get Mountain Blade Warband done. Um, it's I, I obviously still really enjoy it. I love playing it, but I'd like to get into Starbound, and I don't want to do that with Mountain Blade going, because it's just too many series to juggle. Uh, you guys mentioned that like I had too many series going, and uh, and when I had the more series I have, I notice like the longer it seems to go between updates for a specific series, and I don't want to do that, guys, to you. I don't want to do that, guys, to you. I don't want to do that to you guys. Me, I'm speak good English. Uh, but anyway. But yeah. So this is uh, this Minecraft video is brought to you by Proxy being a, a proxy. Hi, Proxy. Okay. So, on our to-do list of Vexy tasks. Let's see. Inner Sanctum. You know, I have not worked on that in forever, and I've been putting it off because I haven't been totally pleased with how it was turning out. So maybe I should work on that today and just see what I can do with it. Uh, I do need to, I definitely need to do this. I need to get, I need to find a desert where I can mine large quantities of, uh, of glass. Yeah, mine, mine glass with a shovel in the desert. Yeah, no, uh, dig sand and then get, um, do I have another shovel? No, I don't. I just need lots of sand and I need to just go strip mine a desert. Um, but I've been put that's been on my to-do list for a very long time. Also this. Uh, I talked with Paul about this. He's just been kind of busy, but I have not forgotten about that. And I asked him about that. So we're going to do that at some point. He's just got to find some free time. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty much, my schedule's mostly open. His is really tight because he's got a family and he's a dad and he's busy with a lot of stuff. So it's uh, that's just going to be kind of whenever he's ready for it. Um, I need to locate Zisto's base. He's moved, and I'm not sure where he is. So, uh, anyway. 
Let's see. That's an ongoing project. I can always work on that. Yeah, let's go look at the Inner Sanctum and just take a peek in there and see what's going on. Oh, oh, by the way. All these, like, precious things. This, this is, like, where I store my stuff that is valuable to me. Uh, these gifts that people gave me. And, and also, in the chest over here are things that are less suitable for uh, book frames. Like, these notes here, like these gifts and the, like the FedEx package that that Paul made this is all like my precious stuff that I, I store in here so yes I consider those precious uh, there's my pet pet slime in there how do you guys like the terrariums here how it's turned out this one's not done yet uh, it's been a temporary home to Fappy here who's just chilling out in there uh, I need to take the glass up higher I think and I wanted to put some plants in here Although I guess it's not bad like it is now, just with, with the pet slime in there. That's kind of neat, I guess. But uh, I, for one, really like this. It opens the place up, and all this gray stone gets uh, gets old after a while. And I wanted to spruce it up and make it look cool. So what do you guys think? Yeah, I like it. All right, anyway, so this room here. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done down below here, although I've thought about leaving it natural. I don't know if I want to, just because it's kind of... I mean, I guess I could leave it natural. I don't know. It just looks kind of... It kind of hasn't turned out how I exactly how I wanted it. Um, this in here, I just kind of... I don't know. Part of me wants to just tear it all down and start over. Like, I am, on, I am very close to just doing that. Because I don't know why, but there's something about this whole area that I'm, not, I'm just not feeling it. It's not cozy. I feel like a bedroom should be cozy, you know? And I don't like the bed being in here, in this area right here. Um, but I feel almost paralyzed. Like, I come in here and I just don't know what to do, you know? Like, I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe I should get, maybe I should go get uh, B-double-O to help me. Yeah, I can lure. I could. I could lure him in here. When he and then when he comes to help, I could like blow up the floor and drop him into lava or something. It'd be kind of funny. Um, nah, I wouldn't do that until he's helped me build first, and then and then when I, when he goes to ask for payment, then I just drop him in lava. There we go. That's what I would do. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so there's the lava coming down. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this place? I mean, it's. Uh, I kind of like it. I just don't like the bed. Okay. Tell you what. Let's start by... Alright. Uh... Oh, I hate doing this, but... Nah. Let's tear this out. This is... No. I am so glad there was a piece of glass down there. Because I would have just stepped right over it. And, like, fall into my doom. Uh, okay. I, didn't, I was not aware that beds could just hover once you take out the stuff beneath them. It's kind of neat. All right, so this is gone. Um, and I guess that's fine right there like it is. And then this doesn't need to be here anymore, I don't think. In fact, this entire section here is... Eh. There we go. Now it's just a plain step up. Okay. How is that looking? Um, without that thing jutting out in the center of the room. I actually kind of like that already. I don't think the bed should be in here. I don't think the bed should be in here. I need to get this this lava. This lava I am not feeling either. Yeah. Yeah. Do I have ladders on me? No, I do not. I do have some of this, though. All right, let's try some of this. Click. There we go. That's better. All right. So the lava's gone now. Uh, does that mean I should cover up the floor? I think that's what I, I'm feeling here. I kind of... I think we can just use our shovel on this and save some of the uses on that pick. 
Uh, watch me not have enough glass to cover this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ha, 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 ha. Nine, okay. Uh, how does that look? I like that better already. Yeah. This looks better. Okay. So, no more bed. The torches are annoying me, but the torches, I can rip all the torches out later. Uh, what's this way? Isn't this just like a mess in here? Yeah, this is completely wild, and there's even monsters in here. Oh yeah, there's monsters. That creeper just went somewhere. I made it so that they can't get over here. Oh, look at that. I need to actually go caving. I think I might actually need to go caving and sort this place out because it is full of hostile territory and I'm not finished conquering it. When's the last time I actually did a caving episode, guys? It's been months, hasn't it? I have not gone caving in months. Well, now, maybe this episode should be me conquering this territory because it's completely open. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I have not been caving in like 10 years, it feels like. So let's go and and get totally geared up. Yes, I've had this diamond uh, armor sitting in my ender chest for forever, wondering when I was going to use it. Looks like today is the day, and I've got torches, I've got food, potions, lava bucket, water bucket, flint and tinder, uh, some spare coal here to make another batch of torches, so yeah, I'm pretty well set. All right, this place, we got to take this place over. I'm just going to jump. There we go. And hope I don't get shot at. Uh, man, it's been such a long time since I've been caving, and this is hostile caving. This is a chasm here. Hopefully nothing falls on my head, although if it does, you can you can cringe, cry out in surprise with me. Oh, squeaks, yes. Yeah, I got squeaks with me. I haven't done this in forever. What if I'm rusty? Oh, no. What if I am rusty and I... Uh... Make a mistake. Make a rookie mistake. Well, hopefully the uh, healing potion and the diamond armor will keep me safe. I set my bed in the... I uh, set my new spawn point. Well, new. Temporary spawn. I set my temporary spawn in the... In the... Uh, whoa. Whoa, spider. Whoa. Hey. Hi. Hi, spider. I set my temporary spawn in the uh, snow golem room. The snow factory thing. So... I need to, oh man, I'm going to need to repair this pick soon. I need to, I need to make like a, uh, an ender, a uh, nether route to let me quickly get over to the ender ender, I think. Oh wait, no, 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 I have an end portal in my base. I need to go find that and, uh, make a safe route to it so I have quick access to, uh, the end. So I can make use of that. Uh, I think that would be very helpful. Oh, whoa. Check that out. There's more cave back here. And some squeaks. There's some squeaks. Hey. Yeah. Squeak. <gasps> There's a bad kind of squeak. You're not a squeaker. You're a hisser. And now you're dead. Alright. Let's just keep on keeping on. We're making good progress, I think. Uh, oh. Oh, it's end. Did it end? Is there anything up there? Anything at all? Oh. Oh. Anything at all. Let's see. Hello. I am here to destroy you and take your riches and expand my influence. You know, the usual. Hello? Uh, I don't see anything. It looks safe. I thought I saw like a passageway up there or an opening maybe? Or maybe not. I don't know. Let's go see. Come on. Break through. Anything? No? No. Looks like it's just empty. Well, that's fine. That means I can turn back and go the other way. Uh, right. i just fill this in. Uh, square it off. And there's nothing up there. Yeah, there's nothing up there. Uh, just ledges. So I need to light that up, so, like, that looks like the perfect spot for a creeper to spawn, I think. And drop down on my head and blow me up. And I don't, I don't like getting blown up. Uh, page 29 of the Care and Feeding of Avechesis list ex being exploded upon as things Avechesis do not... Not... 
<laughs> oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Being ex uh, things we do not like yet. Wow, that is a big iron vein, guys. Look at that. That's a lot of iron. Yeah, squeak, squeak. All right, we got this covered. So, how did your Christmas go? Mine went really well. Um, I gave cool stuff to family, and they liked the gifts that I got them. And uh, I got some neat stuff, and I got what I really wanted for Christmas, and I got a lot of was uh, workout clothing. I in college used to be pretty active, uh, and in good shape to the point where I. Do you know oh, this is this is kind of this is slightly nerdy, but it involves exercising, so that's not nerdy. Uh, but. It's kind of cool. You know in Dragon Ball Z, you, some of you might already know where I'm going with this. Do you know in Dragon Ball Z how at the start they have weighted training clothes? And they put weights in, embedded in their clothing to make it harder to move. So, And they take them off and they make a big deal of taking them off and be like, ah, now I can fight better. Uh, and yeah. Um, I did that. I actually had a uh, a a vest that uh, sometimes I would wear in addition to my other clothing, and it had really heavy lead weights in it. It was like an extra 40, 40 or fifty pounds of weight, and I would actually wear that underneath like my jacket when I went out, and I would also be wearing a book bag, and you know book bags about friggin' thirty forty pounds worth of college textbooks, yay. And each one of those little furs was, was you know, $300 a piece, haha. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, you gotta, if you're college now, Google, like, free textbooks, textbooks online, textbook PDFs, just Google all that and look, and see if there's, uh, options that you can have. Uh, I will rant, I could rant all day about the textbook industry, I guess, and how it's Professors, like, abuse it to sell, make extra money on the side. Uh, like, I remember there was some stuff that was listed as, like, required for the class that was supplementary materials that I found out, you know, later that it was the... Oh, hello. I found out later that it was the it was the professor who made the stuff. So we're he's, like, requiring us to buy his, his crap. And then we'd never use it. That is seriously screwed up, and that kind of shit, I, I rarely say there ought to be a law, but that is abusive and is a bunch of bullcrap. Uh, there we go. And so I, I'm, looking back on it, my, the, the university I went to, uh, I went to, uh, Let's see, Fortune. Yeah, Fortune is the one I want to use here. I went to uh, the University of South Carolina, and you got to be honest, don't go there. I I was I would consider it mediocre, I guess. Um, it's a research university, and they're mostly just concerned with like getting research grants, and like I think you could probably get a better education somewhere else. I hate saying that, but that's my feeling about it. Uh, but anyway, tangent, hi, I'm Vex, I go off on tangents, you know this, but, uh, ooh, no, 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 you're not allowed, you're not allowed to exist up there. Um, like I said, I was, uh, I would walk around on the campus with this vest on underneath my clothing, and it's got like lead, I don't know if it was lead or whatever was in there, because it was sealed up, but uh, of these heavy weights to... You know, so with that in the book bag, I'm I'm running around with like 80 pounds, 70 or 80 pounds worth of extra stuff on me. Uh, that is a workout. That is a that's a good workout. And the cool thing about the vest is that it evenly distributes the weight, so it's not like you're straight. You're not like straining your back. It just feels like it's harder to move than normal. Um, that's an invisible spider. That's a no. Oh, that's a me falling down here. Great. Oh, I took some damage from that. I don't have feather falling anymore. I just have plain old protection. 
Oh, that's scary. Very fall. Many dark, much scare. Wow. Um, and I hear a chicken. Okay. So that was, uh, that was really great. I liked that. But after college, I found, like, I obviously don't need to walk around long distances anymore. Like, I used to walk around on campus. And I feel like I just am not as physically active as I used to be, and I hate that. And, uh, I don't want to get fat, you know? I'm not fat now, but if, you know, if I keep doing this for years, you know, decreased physical activity, I, I could be, and I, I don't want that to happen. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to make it a point to start uh, going out every day, and uh, I bought an MP3 player for myself. Um, it's a sand disc. It's actually really nice. I don't... Uh, I don't, I'm not really one to like recommend products and do reviews on stuff that much, but uh, yeah, the SanDisk player I really like. Uh, it's good. It's like a SanDisk something. It's a little little tiny black one. Uh, it's about the size of, size of a postage stamp. I'm not even kidding. Uh, it's tiny, but it's eight gigabytes worth of music. And my favorite thing about it is that it plays. Uh, mp3s directly like you just drag it you plug it in your computer and it pops up like any usb stick you would stick in your computer and then you just drag and drop uh the mp3s onto it there's no formatting or any kind of proprietary bullcrap software like uh the ipad uh, ipod has i had an ipod i had an ipod for about four hours and i took it back to best buy and got my money back i hated it i could not stand the stupid thing uh it made me use their bullcrap iTunes software, and I couldn't, like, if I just dr dragged and dropped MP3s onto it after plugging it in, it wouldn't recognize them. It had to format them with its, with its proprietary bullcrap, and I hated it. I couldn't stand it. So iPod, uh, iPods suck, and I would not recommend them. Uh, they're, I found them to be nothing but a headache. Uh, if the MP3 player cannot just, if you can't just drag and drop MP3s onto it and play them, without, you know, if it requires some sort of special software to be installed on your computer, I say, don't waste your time, get something else. So that's my that's my review on that. Uh, but yeah, I got that, and my plan is to just put on an album and run, run, walk, or jog, probably start walking first. Actually, I've heard walking is the best, because running and jogging uh, puts unnecessary strain on your knees and can cause problems for you later in life if you run a lot. Uh, so I'll keeping that in mind. Uh, I want to get in shape, and I want to have good cardio, but uh, I don't want to, you know, wreck my knees unnecessarily. Uh, but instead of going out for a set time, I'm just going to listen to music, and whenever the music is gone to a certain point, I'll turn back and head home. Uh, and I was thinking... Uh, what I was thinking of doing is adding like every day like every day add a new song so I'm out for progressively longer and longer times I think that'd be kind of neat uh, what I was actually another thing I want to do is I want to have a treadmill indoors and because I think it'd be really cool and I'm gonna hook up a old game system like a, maybe my GameCube and I'm gonna do uh, Mega Man X and what I'm going to do is have a treadmill and run or walk on the treadmill while playing uh, Mega Man X and, like, beat a stage and then stop. And then maybe every, uh, every month I'll add a new stage in until it's to the point where I get on the treadmill until I beat Mega Man X. Uh, I think that would be really cool. Uh, to combine to bu combine uh, playing video games with exercise. I think that'd be really cool. Oh, I wish these were diamonds. <laughs> Stupid lapis. Uh, no, no. Don't want that. And I really don't want the cobble either. No, I didn't want the... Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, I think that'd be really cool. So, get to do that. Um... Nah, put some torches down. So yeah, working out, exercising, awesome. 
Uh, I know Seth goes to the gym a lot. That's something he d seems to do like every day. When I talk to him, he's like, "Oh, I'll do. We'll do this." And then, but I gotta head to the gym first. And I'm like, "Okay." And uh, actually, I kind of gotta give him some credit because like. Uh, seeing him doing that reminded me that, like, oh, hey, I need to be exercising, too, and not get complacent and, and uh, be go inactive for too long. <clears throat> uh, okay. Ooh, there's a little cave in here. Let's go see what's in here. Hello? Boop. Anybody home? No. Ooh. No, I'm not doing the whole mess around with water thing. Oh, I'm kind of hurt. I should go ahead and drink this. Boom, back to full. Okay.